we mentioned Hillary Clinton. She will be in a box about this, and she'll be pressured to see whether there will be interest to see if she moves away from President Obama on this issue of Israel, Israeli relations as we go forward. She gave her last, we believe anyway, her last paid speech yesterday before she becomes an official candidate. Uh, go online this morning. There are a number of more reports, additional reports about the Clinton Foundation and its accepting money from foreign sources that today that she's going to have to deal with. You might take this as an implicit criticism of President Obama when Hillary Clinton says, elect me and I'll try to break gridlock. If you don't build relationships with people and all you do is show up to argue or show up to, you know, point fingers, you can't get anything done. From my perspective, you can't do enough of the relationship building. So you could say she's criticizing the Republican Congress. You could also say, especially on the relationship bit part, that she's criticizing her former boss. Uh, you're just back from New Hampshire. Is any of this stuff playing out there? Well, I said what's, what we found was playing in New Hampshire, we did a couple of focus groups this week, is that even the Democrats who believe she's the inevitable nominee and support her and like her are, are really, really unhappy with her handling of the email situation uh, and, and the whole notion of sort of transparency and um, addressing controversies fully head on right. rather than just sort of making them go away. Uh, it appears, I mean, it's like not scientific, it's talking to a right. handful of people, but you get kind of the emotional threads of how people are feeling, uh, which is uh, the notion that as, as the race is taking shape on both sides, uh, they're trying to have gut feelings about candidates and they want her to be a little bit different. That yet. So if she turns this page, that's what she has to address. Be more human, be more out there. Actually, go talk to voters. Right, right. And she was a lot more relaxed in that speech. She was, she was much more in her environment. It was a very controlled environment. It was, you know, in front of, in front of a group of people that were cheering at, like, every single word and laughing at her jokes. But it, it, the other interesting thing about that speech is she was waxing poetic about the Gingrich years, right. which was, you know, <laughs> is what it the is. The good old days. It's the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag sarcasm. Okay. <laughs>